All right, guys, went back today with one of the nicest U.S. produced AK-47s I've ever shot, the Palmetto Stan Armory GF5, with a really slick rail system, as well as a few other premium components, which we'll talk about in this full overview. If you've ever looked at getting a custom AK-47 or an AK-47 with all of these specs and features, especially something that you can trust and rely on, you'll know that they climb well above $2,000, and PSA is producing the GF5 lineup for half Half of that price. Now some of them climb up to about $1,300 like the configuration you see here because of the rail systems, trigger systems, and furniture that they put on here. But they also have the GF5 lineup coming in with wood furniture, side folding stocks, you name it, PSA is producing it, and they're all in stock right now. There are so many variations in stock. Now occasionally one will go out of stock, they'll build it back up again and put it back on their website, but there is no shortage of AK-47s on PSA's website, and all the information will be on my campsite page page if you like this at the end of the video. I'll be linking everything over there and linking the campsite page in the description below. Now this is a pretty cool gun and I've reviewed a lot of the GF3 lineup on the channel in the past. The GF3 lineup starts at around $600 for their blemish version and goes up to about $1,000 depending on the, again, accessories that you add to it in that selection when you're browsing the GF3 lineup. All of the AK-47s that PSA produces have a hammer forged bolt, carrier, and front trunnion, so you know they're gonna last you a lifetime. You won't have to worry about head spacing issues or cast parts like some other US producers. But the GF-5 lineup takes it to a next level. For the ultimate AK-47 that's going to last you a lifetime that you can take to class after class after class and just keep running rounds to it, the GF-5 is the way to go, and I'm really glad I got this. One of the first things I want to discuss, and what makes it so nice, is the barrel that they've selected for the GF5 lineup. It's actually the FN Cold Hammer Forge Chrome Olive Vanadium Steel Barrel, and it's chrome lined. That is the best of the best of the best. So it can handle that corrosive ammo if you've got surplus. It can handle thousands of rounds going down range. It can handle mag dump after mag dump. In fact, FN uses this barrel in their machine guns, the M249, so you know it is going to be a premium barrel that can handle a high round count. Not only that, they've got upgraded Toolcraft Hammer Forge Bolt, a Hammer Forge Carrier, and a Toolcraft Blended Hammer Forge 4340 Aircraft Quality Front Trunnion. This thing is bomb proof when it comes to the construction of that front trunnion, the bolt, the carrier, and the barrel. Again, lending it to be something that you can shoot thousands upon thousands of rounds through per year and just it lasts a lifetime. They also upgraded it with a few different accessories that we'll be talking about now. And I know I've been harping on a lot of the barrel and internal components, but that really is what makes or breaks a US produced AK-47. And again, when you're talking about the price of the GF5 lineup compared to other premium AK-47, K-47s, this feature set has blown me out of the water. Now up front, we are looking at a thread pitch of 14 by one left hand thread, and then it's got a really slick muzzle brake on the end that helps mitigate that recoil. They call it the AKE tank brake, and it works incredibly well. You can absolutely rattle off shots with almost no recoil moving back to the end user, and it just balances incredibly nicely. Now, this is is a absolutely slick rail system that surrounds the barrel and incorporates the gas tube. This is interesting because it's completely custom feeling, but it's designed to be repeatable on all of the AK-47s that PSA is producing with this configuration. So you don't have to worry about slop or play. It's absolutely rock solid and another bomb proof part of this design. This is the PSA slash SLR Rifle Works AK Ion 13.5 light M lock rail system with the integrated gas tube. So when you're looking at this guys, you can see the low profile integrated gas tube and this is billet aluminum. So it's going to be again, incredibly tough. It bolts up at the bottom and the only absolute only complaint I had with this entire build was the fact that these screws walk loose. I had a little Loctite, dropped them back in and they've been good for a couple hundred more rounds rounds, no issues whatsoever. I don't think they lock tighten them from the factory. You can see it extends all the way to the end of the barrel with the M-lock slots at the front and bottom, which is really nice because this allows you to add a light up front, a pressure pad on the side, even a pressure pad up top, and a vertical grip to really trick this out. And we will continue to update and progress on this build. This is just merely the first shots and overview video to introduce you guys to the Palmetto Sedomary GF5.
It also, since it bolts up to the bottom, has no wobble and it is rock solid on the bottom. Not only that, this bolts into the top right here and it is integrated into the gas tube itself. So you get this incredibly low profile design allowing you to co-witness or drop down a micro red dot. As you see here, we're gonna be reviewing this Athlon Optics in the next video. This is perfect for any of those hollow suns, something like this micro dot. Uh, some of the other budget red dots I reviewed that come with a low profile mount, you can slam it down right up here and it works out perfectly. Absolutely love this. And since this bolts in, there's no slop in either of these. A lot of times when you're ad adding different types of gas tube mounts and things like that, you do get a little play, but this thing bolts on rock solid, as solid as any AR-15 rail system I've seen, which is saying a lot because a lot of those are getting pretty robust. Moving along back to the upper receiver itself, for the main receiver, it's got an extended latch on the safety, allowing it to flip up and down. We've already talked about the internal components and the quality used, but the rivets and the build quality on this are absolutely spectacular. There is no bulged rivets. There's no issues whatsoever in the build, and the fit and finish is working out great. No issues there. This comes with the ALG trigger, the go-to trigger for an AK-47, in my opinion. I absolutely love them, and again, you can rattle off shots. It also comes with the MOE furniture, and I like this on here. It's not as traditional with the side folders, but they do offer a lot of those side folders, as well as, again, wood finishes, under folders. Definitely check out that campsite page for all the information over there. Now, this was 100% reliable down at the range, no issues whatsoever, and I ran a myriad of different ammo. Some Tala and Wolf ammo from American Pawn and Gun in Monroe, North Carolina. They sent it over to the channel, as well as some Wolf sur uh, Surplus ammo that I got from AIM Surplus. They sent some over to the channel at cost so I got to put a lot of rounds through it hollow points and full metal jackets with no issues whatsoever this thing was launching them to outer space feeding and functioning great in fact I used about six different magazines including some of the US Paul magazines I featured the other day on the channel Magpul mags waffle mags tapco mags steel mags as well as the mags that came with this that PSA is producing and again no issues with the lockup and fit and there's not a ton of slop in the mag well so it really locks up solid in summary this is one of the nicest AK-47s I've ever shot. And with all these premium components, you can't go wrong at the price. Also, if you're not a big fan of the rail system or you like the more classic look, definitely don't overlook the GF5. One of the best AK-47s on the market, hands down in my opinion, for the money and really for any type of money. These guys are making good stuff and they know what they're doing. All the information, linking if I can, and codes for every other stuff that I find will be over on my campsite page. Definitely check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.